and welcome to week 20. <clears throat> First clip, I am actually at the at the Lifesong Wellness and Growth Center to see a psychologist, therapist, uh, and discuss some things. Uh, I'm nervous, but uh, a little excited, I guess. I'm a little scared, too. Because I really don't even know what the first thing I'm going to say is. It's been so long since I talked to one. I mean, I was really resistant. Hi. Hey, guys. Um, so, I'm done seeing my counselor, therapist, psychologist. I'm not really sure, actually, what her title is. Uh, for today, I have another appointment set up for two weeks from now. Uh, the first... Um, I thought this would be cool, uh, cool, uh, a good little, I don't know, I just like this, uh, particular wallpaper. Um, so yeah, I saw my therapist today, uh, we talked about a few things, mostly she was getting an idea of where I'm at and stuff like that and my, my mental state and what it is that's bringing me there and what it is that I'm searching for. She already helped me. She already identified something. She says I have <clears throat> cognitive displacement. And she wants to address that. And then she asked me wh who my most important person to me in my life is. And I told her uh, my mom, my brother, and my ex-girlfriend at this time. I'm rapidly having people move up and in, in positions like my mom's family is really moving close to the top for me uh, but uh, but she tricked me in a way because I didn't realize what she was actually looking for she was look she was she was she was testing me I think but Apparently, the proper answer she was looking for was me. And and I'm supposed to be at the top of that list. And that never really even crossed my mind. And she said that that's a problem and that's something that she's we're going to have to address. Because, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. I'm not even on the list to her. She's asking me if I, we were talking about being stuck in the past and stuff like that. And she says... She's asking if I have what ifs, you know, shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and then what ifs, and uh, and what if things happen like this, or what if this happened, and I was like, you know, honestly, I don't have the what if part. I don't ever think about what could have happened, you know, what may have been uh, with my mistakes. All I think about is, uh, is uh, what's happened, what I've done. Uh, so I, she said, I, I'm dealing with a lot of guilt and, uh, reliving all of my mistakes and I'm feeling guilty for them and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to see her again in two weeks. We're going to go over more stuff. Um, and I'll give you guys an update in a couple weeks. All right. So see you on the next clip. I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, looks like my lights. They go any color of the rainbow in any patterns that I want. Man, these things look really good under the black light, don't they? The black light is giving off a purplish hue which isn't actually present if you were in the room with me. It actually looks like the corner of that wall over there where there's no purple. That's how it actually looks to the eye all the way across. And I actually have this thing upside down. I really like the haunted house. Here, I'm going to go up to it and... I like the vibrancy of the colors. I'm going to try and get over to this one before the camera stops. Got about 30 seconds before it's going to just stop. 
Aren't those cool? Look, I mean, look how vibrant they are. Oh, I love these. I was born in the wrong era. I really need to get the owl one of these that I plan on getting. I have one that's three owls looking down at a campfire in the forest that I'm going to get and have uh, made for me. All right, that looks like a dragon upside down. Bye, guys. And what's up, guys? Family, whatever you want to call yourselves. I forgot all about this movie when I was saying my some of my favorite childhood. Man, I like a lot of cartoons from my childhood. <laughs> Roger. Roger Radcliffe. A uh, musician of sorts. I think we, uh... <laughs> no, no, I, I'm the one with the spots. My name's Pongo. What are you meowing about? And you know... Interrupt as my video? I see, the old notion that a bachelor's life was so... glamorous and carefree... 101 Dalmatians! Downright dull. What? <sighs> I love dogs, man. <sighs> I'm gonna get a Dalmatian someday. And if it's a boy, I'm obviously going to name him Pongo. And if it's a girl, I'm obviously going to name him Birdie. Be bachelors forever. He was married to his work, writing songs. I've always songs wanted to own a Dalmatian. Of all things, something he knew absolutely nothing about. I really hope I can someday. Oh, he's intelligent enough, as humans go. And I think you could say Roger is a rather handsome animal in his way. <laughs> Let her in, Nanny. Ebenezer, darling. How are you? Oh, Miserable, my. darling, as usual, perfectly wretched. <laughs> I know two people in my we life that are remind them. me of her. her. Their names are Tanya and Arlene. <laughs> For I'll, sakes, where are they? I'll tell you guys about oh, them someday. Right. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, guys? Welcome to another clip of, uh, your favorite YouTube channel on all of the internet. Uh, I am your host, Morty. Or actually, I'm pretty sure this character's name is Rick. So, now I sound like an idiot. And I look like an idiot. Here, let me take this off. Ugh, that's better. Woo! You're a little less stupid now, you know? Yep. Just a little less stupid. I think I look good like this. What do you think? Yeah? It's, it's, it's you know, going through a transformation, you know? Transformation of uh, the inner and outer, you know, the inner and outer Z. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm practicing my ventriloquism too, you know, where you can't ooh your mouth at all. Yep. And strengthening the eye, you know, by just using that eye and, you know, exfoliating a little. Pulling out those lat heads, you know, pulling off the extra skin on the neck, you know, that's that's what it's all about, you know, sacrifice, you know, a little pain for a little gain, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just gotta go for it, you know, a little duct tape can help you just clear out the skin. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it is, you know. Look like an idiot. You no, know, you get those results. That's what you're talking about. You just go for the results, you know? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna take this off now. Oh god, this is gonna fucking hurt because this is right where the hair is. Oh, yep. Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna rip it. Oh! Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, 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 right where the mirror is. Oh, that's fucking horrible. Oh, no. What kind of weird sex thing? Oh, God, no. This is fucking hurting. Oh, uh, uh uh. See, once it gets you under skin, this is where it's really gonna fucking hurt. Oh, I can't fucking do it. Mm. I'm gonna lose my fucking eyebrows. <sighs> the back of the neck. Oh! How many more? Oh, 
thank God. Ah, oh, that was a fucking bitch. Excuse me. Ooh, where's the other one there, son? Shit, I'm feeling all over around this fucking desk. All right, all right, where? Beow. It's, there it is. Beow. What? Beow. You have called upon the eye, the eye of God. I know all there is to know. You. <laughs> it looks like a fucking the whole face with green eyes. Or a skull. You mean a whole state Oh my god, he's blinking at us. God damn it, that was like the greatest fucking thing I ever seen. Welcome to a crazy high thoughts video. What? God damn it, I can't hold them both at the same time. <laughs> I should just fucking take them together. Boom. Yeah. Whoa! That is the fucking coolest shit in the world. Whoa! There's a kitty cat gonna get an ass whooping for that shit. Bad cat. Bad, get off. Jumped up and clawed my head. Little shit. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I'm a little. Man, this is retarded. I'm done recording this. <laughs> hey guys, it's the final clip of the week all over a new week starts tomorrow i haven't had a whole lot to record this week uh so i made some funny clips that i thought would be funny um <laughs> one of them i probably shouldn't put in the regular vlog but i'm going to anyways just because i don't think i should it's actually meant for a, a different channel that i have um but what the heck you know i'll i'll let my my weird nature come out on this channel. It's supposed to be for a different channel that I keep private because uh, I I smoke in it and stuff, and I don't really want to risk getting in trouble at work and stuff like that if they were able to stumble across it, but uh, I don't care. What I do on my own time is on my own time, you know? Uh, but hey, you know what? You guys are awesome. Let's see, what do I got to do tonight that I plan on doing? I did a little rearranging. Oh man, I was opening up some old card packs that I have because I have a bunch of uh, boxes of old cards. Well, a few. Here, I'll show you. Uh, just a second. Obviously, turn on the light. I was... Yeah, I'll be right back. Here we are. I was opening some packs of these that I have, and I believe that it was this. Nope. That means it was this one. Pulled out a Michael Jordan. See if I can get it to. There we go. I got the flash is like right on the card, so it kind of ruins the. Uh... There we go. Problem solved. A Michael Jordan. Sweet. Looks like it's got a small scratch on it, unfortunately. And a Charles Barkley. Yes. I remember when he when he was big into golf. Yep, yep. 
and this is out of these older ones uh, man when you take one of these packs right here and you uh, let's turn on this autofocus I'll turn it off there we go uh, alright these oh my gosh they just uh, try and get that to focus a little focus whatever I hate trying to okay well anyways they smell so nostalgic they have that 90s smell here you can smell yeah I'm sure you can smell mmm yep memories just come flooding back but there you have it I got other ones too that I just stick in the other boxes like down below and stuff but that's the first mic Actually, I think that's not the first mic. I think I have another Michael Jordan as well. I mean, I definitely have one uh, in the room. I'll have to show you. But here's some of my favorite baseball players. Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, Nolan Ryan. Love Nolan Ryan. Dave Justice, Sammy Sosa, Roger Clemens. I don't have my... Uh, I have Nolan Ryan up here, but not Ryan Sandberg. How could I not have Ryan Sandberg, man? He's like the best. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. And I used to have Ken Griffey Sr. Boom. Yep, 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 yep. What's up, Phoenix? Wolverine? Titan. Say what's up to the guys, bro. Say what's up to the guys. Did you eat up all that peanut butter I gave you? Yeah, you can get fat. I don't need to be fat. All right. And so that is, uh, that is all I've got to show. This little cat, man. I'm thinking about getting rid of him because he's destroying stuff that costs me a lot of money. Look at this chair. He's clawed it all to hell. And that bot, I mean, it might not seem like a big deal to some people, but... That was a $400 chair, and it's fairly brand new. It's only about a year old, and I love this chair. <sighs> didn't want that cat in the first place. Only reason his butt is here is because uh, I didn't want to give him to the shelter because I felt bad for him when I found him. Our neighbor kind of abandoned him outside, and he was mewing, and he was just a little kitty. A young little guy at the time. Now he's just a big little turd. Uh, you can always look forward to some weird lighting whenever you're talking to me. Every clip seems to have a different shade of lighting around. Uh, anyways, um, I don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, so I will let you guys go. Oh, I was just working on my calorie tracker for my for the week, ending it, getting all the final calculations for today up. I, w I did order some Domino's today, and I had two pieces of chicken wings, to just two. Uh, I ate the other two, but I didn't swallow them. Yeah, I know it's gross. Uh, that's how I still get to enjoy a little bit of the taste, but not all the calories. Um, I chewed them up and spit them out. I know it's nasty. I know it's nasty. It's not even something I really do, but when I'm ordering something like Domino's, you don't want to overeat that stuff because it's just two pieces was more than unhealthy. Two, two chicken wings added 700 sodium uh, milligrams of sodium. Just two chicken wings. And that's a lot. <laughs> that's almost as much as two slices of pizza that I ate. So I ate two chicken wings, two slices of pizza, and like a quarter of a salad. Um, and I didn't really have much on the salad. I put a tiny bit of dressing. But, uh, um, all Domino's, that was dinner. So two, a quarter of a salad, and less than a quarter of a salad. Uh, it looks like I put down 0 0.5, so about four bites of a big salad. That sounds about right, actually, four or five bites. Uh, so I did pretty good still, kept my calories low, um, under 1,000, even with all of that. And this morning I had two bowls of Post Sarah, Raisin Bran, one uh, light yogurt, um, and skim milk with my cereal. And it still managed to keep it under 
it was at 961 for total calories, though the sodium, I still kept it under on the sodium, but uh, just barely, because that pizza, now what I'm getting at is uh, I am going to not be, I'm going to think I'm only going to do that once a month. Uh, and next time if I have pizza again, I'm not going to get a pepperoni one. I'm just going to get a veggie one with a thin crust and lights or a uh, light cheese. Uh, I think that's how I'm going to do that and just load it up on vegetables. Vegetables that I like though. Like I like pepperoni, not pepperoni. I like pineapple, but not too much. Not on pizza. Um, I don't know what, you know what? I'll probably just go with a garden to light and pick off the olives and mushrooms. That sounds like a good one. That's a plan for that. Uh, and... I'm going to have to cut back. Yeah, well, like once a month, I think I can have wings. I was going to go like once a week. It'd be my day to enjoy something that I want, you know, whatever I wanted. But I don't think so. I think the battery's dead. Um... Yeah, so once a month. <laughs> once a month. <laughs> will be better than once a week. Um, yeah. Really don't know why I keep repeating myself. I'm just staring off at the calories thinking, you know, I'm trying to constantly think of healthier ways to eat and adjust while still being able to enjoy myself at times. Because, uh, not enjoy myself, but just still being able to have the foods that I enjoy. Yeah. Because I know that I'm never going to make this life change stick if I, if I just cut out everything I enjoy. So I, I'm trying to teach myself self-control. And I've been doing really good considering even when I'm, you know, a little high, I'm still not gorging. And that is a difficult thing to uh, not do when you're your eye. Probably shouldn't even be putting on that I smoke on the channel, but you know, I am going to soon be trying to get a card for it, because for me it really helps a lot with my depression and it helps me just be more lighthearted and not so worried about everything. So I've been seeing a therapist and I don't know if they're the kind of person I need to see to eventually ask, and I don't even know how to ask because if I feel like that if I ask, it's going to sound like that's why I'm there. And it's not why I'm there at all. I just think it would be helpful to to have the card. So that, uh, yeah. I don't know. I might not ask because I am a little hesitant about that. I don't, have, I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I should be more yes man, and if I just think about doing something, I should just be okay. I'll do it, as long as it's not harmful to anybody. Uh, I feel like I'm over-talking with my family, and that I may be boring them, so I'm going to try and pull back on that. Uh, again, it could be something that I'm over-worrying about. Uh, but I do, I feel like every day I'm trying to say something to them. And I feel like that's probably tiresome. Eh, I'm just excited. I kind of want us to get close to them and stuff. So I mean, I I just I'm worried that you know by doing that I'm gonna I'm gonna push them away because I'm just too needy or something. I don't know. I think it's part psychological for me though because the need to say something every day so I feel like that they don't forget <laughs> that I'm there is pathetic and I need to figure out a way to overcome that I, I'm trying to like I try to resist replying or saying hello right away every morning but I can't and I I, it, I gotta have to look into that uh, and I also don't I feel like I may be giving the impression that I'm like I don't know that I'm like emotionally stunted or something. I don't know. And I, I, I don't want them to be thinking that I'm like re mentally disabled or anything. I just suffer from emotional stuff and confidence and psychological problems. I'm not like intellectually challenged or 
and not that they've been treated, they haven't treated me that way, it's just I'm worried that I might be given that impression unintentionally, um, like, I'm physically capable of doing anything, I'm, I'm intellectually capable of doing most things, uh, but yeah, I just hope they don't get the wrong impression about me, I mean, most of my problems are all internal, and in my head, I've been listening to this book called How to Un Yourself, uh, and it's a really good book. Uh, I purchased a couple books this week on Audible. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try. Audible. There we go. Let's see what it is. I'll tell you guys. My library. I got, this week I purchased a book called The Others, um, and then a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a, con- a Cantu- Counterintuitive Approach to a living to Living a Good Life, and then this is the one I'm listening to right now, Un- Yourself, Get Out of Your Head and Into Your Life, then I got A Child Called It, One Child's Courage to Survive. And I swear I had more books in this. But uh, apparently I only have two other books. Three other books. The Christmas Hirelings. Fire and Blood. 300 Years Before a Game of Thrones. Uh, and Galaxy Outlaws. The Complete Black Ocean Mobius Missions. Books 1 through 16. I really thought I had more than that. Oh, it's just the past six months. Okay, let's try past a year. Because I know I have more than that. There we go. There they all are. The Heirs of Earth, Children of Earthrise series. American Pharaoh, the untold story of Triple Crown winner, Legendary Rise. Or Triple Crown winners, that's about the horse. Uh, The Complete Thunder series, that's a science fiction. Menu excerpts from our favorite Newark, Newark restaurants. And Video Night, a novel of alien horror. And last but not least, A Dark World. The Complete Spaceman Chronicles, books one through three. I have more too, but uh, I don't think it's that. Let, oh, I guess I could just go to all time. Why am I telling you guys all of my books? Uh, West Cork. Um, I don't. I haven't read that one yet. Star Trek: Spock versus Q. The Greys. Uh, Barsk: The Elephant's Graveyard. Gather. Round the Sound, holiday stories from beloved authors and great performers across the globe. And this is one of my favorite books I've read, Ever Meet, Island of the Elves. And right here, we got, last but not least, Doctor Who of the 11th Doctor, Doctor Tales, 11th Doctor Who Audio Originals. And I actually have a whole lot more than this, but they're not all through Audible. A bunch of my other ones are, uh, are uh, just on my computer. But yeah, I've been listening to Get Out of Your Head and Into Your Life. Un yourself. It's only about three hours and 23 minutes, it looks like. Came out in 2017. Uh, Are you tired of feeling up? If you are, John Gary or Gary John Bishop has the answer. In this straightforward handbook, he gives you the tools and advice you need to demolish the slag weighing you down and become the truly on version of yourself. Wake up to the miracle you are, he directs. Here's what you've forgotten. You're a miracle of a being. It isn't other people that are standing in your way, and it isn't even your circumstances that are blocking your ability to thrive. It's yourself and the negative self-talk you keep telling yourself. So, yeah. I love this book. Anyways, uh, that's all I got. I got some content that I added in, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment to let me know that you made it to this point in the video. And until next time, have a good day. Happy Valentine's Day.